excited too because we're about to take a closer look at some of the amazing animals in Shed's care. I'm Colin, your guide, and I'm going to need your help in creating this live experience. So throughout our presentation, I hope that you'll participate and join in on the fun as we learn more about these remarkable animals and how they thrive in nature. Now let's get to know each other a little bit better. On the count of three, I want you to yell out where you're from. Ready? One, two, three! Now I've heard some Kansas, maybe oh, I see some Iowa folks over there. Nice to welcome everybody. Uh, now that we know where you're from, let's meet the Pacific White Sided Dolphins and learn a little bit about where they are from. Now over to your left, you'll see the cat, Makoa, and the drill. Yeah, the drill, not this. Now over at the center island is, uh, it's Cree and Kukula, nice. And over here far right is Saku and Munchkin. <laughs> Let's check out the map. Now the water these dolphins are swimming in is cold. The Pacific white sided dolphins live in the chilly waters of the North Pacific, the highlighted areas up on the screen. Now, like humans, dolphins are mammals, but our human bodies are, divine, uh, are uh, adapted for life on land, whereas these dolphins are uniquely adapted for life in the water. Let's take a look at one major difference. Dolphins have flippers. These flippers, known as pectoral flippers, help a dolphin swim. Check out, if you would, to your right as Asagu shows off uh, his flippers right over there. When uh, Creed just surprises with is something that dolphins do to communicate with each other out in the wild, but also just a scratch and pitch as well. Uh, okay, uh, where was I? Uh, oh, yep, uh, nice one. Yes, yeah, so those pectoral flippers help a dolphin steer while they're swimming. But there's something else really cool about them. Inside is a specific series of bones, and this single detail reveals a lot about these animals' distant past. All right, everybody, raise up a hand. Now, up on the screen is an x-ray of a human hand and arm. Try to find all the bones in your hand from your wrist up to your fingertips. Now, on the left is an x-ray of a human hand, but on the right is an x-ray of a dolphin's pectoral flipper. Notice how similar the bones look? Scientists believe that millions of years ago, dolphins and whales lived on land around the time of the dinosaur's extinction. Then, at some point later, both dolphins and whales left the land well in the water. Now let's check out those tails. These are called flukes, and there's no bones or muscles in them at all. But check out how our dolphins move their flukes up and down to paddle through the water. Thank you. 
themselves off on a hot day. And they also use those powerful forelimbs to propel themselves through the water at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. They are strong, and they use their hind flippers for precision steering as they're very sleep at, as they're chasing their next meal. And speaking of meals, sea lions have huge appetites. Their teeth are designed to catch, grab, and tear through their food, but as Ty is demonstrating, most sea lions like to just swallow their food whole. Now, although they're a common animal on the West Coast, sea lions are often confused for another common marine mammal, the seal. One feature that will help you distinguish whether you're looking at a seal or a sea lion is that sea lions have external ear flaps. Take a look. They also have some amazing hearing. So let's do an experiment where we compare a sea lion's hearing to ours. In a moment, you're going to hear some sounds. And if you think the sound is coming from the left side of the room, I want you to raise your left hand. If you think it's coming from the right side of the room, go ahead and raise your right hand. All right, let's hear that first sound. Nice, exactly right. You and Ty got it right. Perfect, coming from the right side of the room. Well done. Now let's try that again.
connect to the galleries, the wild reef, or amphibians, amphibians. You're going to exit up the stairs. You're going to head down to the Bubble Net Cafe or the Fuller Place. Exit down the stairs and to your left. And I have a one.